to show you today. I'll take that from you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you today. Well, it's nothing special. It's just oh. a standard Mexican strap with a maple neck. Standard tuners. I bought it on eBay for about uh, 300 bucks, which isn't bad. It came with steel bridges. <clears throat> And uh, on the bottom of the bridge, the block has been thickened up too. So I'm going to play it as it is. It's not a bad guitar, sounds great. But I'm going to upgrade the guitar to some string saber saddles. They're graphite saddles. I use these on my other guitars and they work amazing. And the next part I'm going to switch to, which I got from Dragonfire Guitars. It's a great place to get parts if you don't have the money for the expensive ones and want something close to the same thing. I bought some locking tuners, so I'm going to be putting these on. Locking boners? Yes, locking boners, yes. Yes, lo boners that lock on lock ya. No, locking tuners that we, um, well, they work better than normal tuners. They make it easier to change strings and whatnot and... Uh, I use them on my other guitars, which I've had no complaint. This is a basically a build-up guitar. I think I'm swapping parts and, and making it kind of my own piece by piece. And, you know, I got it cheap, and it's going to be a stage guitar. Hello again. So this is how the guitar sounds. Uh, a mild distortion, bridge pickup. I haven't changed anything yet. I'm going to leave it the same. Play a couple quick riffs, and then put the new stuff on and play... Pretty much the same rest. Tim Smith, guitar guru. Well, <laughs> Just an FYI, you will have to screw in these screw parts, so you're going to make some holes, so make sure you align these correctly, because if they are kind of crooked and you got them in screwed, they're going to be like that forever. Best way to do it is just use a ruler. If it's a little off, nobody's going to notice. Um, only downside of these tuners I found was that this one didn't really lock all the way through. So it was kind of weird to have some small string slippage, but I compensated by just re-wrapping it around twice and then locking it. Gave it the extra amount of space that it needed. I'm using 11 to 49 gauge uh, Theodario strings. You might use thicker strings that might not have that problem. You might use thinner strings that might run into that problem. You could just overwrap it. And uh, well, here's a sound demo. any questions in your comments and uh, yeah Salisbury steak